Hi, this is Andrew. Thanks for joining me. This video covers the installation of Packet Tracer from Network Academy. There were some changes in um, late August of 2024, and uh, the kind of finding it's a little bit difficult. So there should be a link down below that gets you here. You can um, click on that link and that should get you to the point of being able to inst install. You need to create an account and, and log in with the account. So now when I go down here, I have three options. I can install Mac OS, Windows, or Ubuntu. Um, I'm going to install Mac OS first and then I'll switch over my Windows system and install it on Windows and you'll see both. Um, it's a pretty simple process. Just finding this link is tremendously uh, difficult and hidden. So download complete. I'm going to click on that. You can see I was making other videos about other things recently. So now I have my packet tracer installation right here. I'm going to double click on that and it'll step me through the process. Obviously we got it from the internet. Yes, we know that. I'm going to click OK on that. And here is my installer. I'm going to continue, um, install. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Packet Tracer is if the file is created on a later version and you're trying to open it on an earlier version, that will normally not work. So if you're getting a file from someone else, make sure you have the latest version. Um, of course, if they don't have the latest version and you save it and send it back, they're not going to be able to open it. But eventually everyone updates and that, that resolves the problem. It prompted me for my uh, computer password. So now when I click done, I should be finished with it. And now I can go in and launch it. So I will go to my launch pad and launch it. Okay, so I launched Packet Tracer. It prompted me as to whether I wanted to use multi-user mode. I believe I want to click skills for all now and I can say keep me logged in for three months. So it popped over to the website that had me logged in and now it shows me logged in. Um, it actually shows it successfully logged into Cisco Packet Tracer. So you click skills for all. If you're logged in on the website uh, on your default browser, that should launch. And now I have Packet Tracer here and I can start creating my own Packet Tracer. I could open up uh, Packet Tracer files that I want to do. Um, but there it is installed on the Mac. So now let's switch over and we'll do it on Windows. Okay, I'm on my Windows system. I want to go to the same web page um, and down here. Uh, even without logging in, it looks like it is letting me in this case. Nope, please log in to download resources. So I will go ahead and log in. So logged in, I can now see, I can click on links. I'm going to download the Windows version. Um, that should be pretty quick right here. Once I once it's downloaded, I can launch it. Uh, yes, I want to go through that process. I accept. I'll go ahead and install it. Desktop shortcut is fine. And it just skipped forward about a minute and now it's giving me the option of launching Packet Tracer. And multi-user, I want to select no and then it'll prompt me again to log into the application. And I want to allow. Now if I click skills for all like last time, it logs me in because I was already logged in on the web page. So again, now I can do whatever I want to do with Packet Tracer. So, um, that's Packet Tracer on a Mac and on Windows. Um, really the key is that link that is not uh, always the easiest to find, but you can get there from, um, probably from taking the, the online Packet Tracer course. Should work from any free account. So if you have any questions, put them below. But uh, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.